Hello, Klaas here, Mystic Bell. In the last part, we defeated a werewolf and got the double jump ability for some reason. And I'll remark that it's even pickier than the air dash in actually you have to jump at about the peak of your jump. So like that's about as late as I was allowed to jump. Alright, so let's see, where did we need to go with this? That's not how you open up the menu. Um, the forest, of course. Uh, did I, want, I think I already gathered up what I wanted to bring to the forest. Flower pot, bucket, trowel. I know the fertilizer is not used in the forest. So I'm apparently three levels away from max level, I noticed on the file select screen. I have no reason to be attacking here. I'm just doing it anyway. I'm done with the forge forever. I don't need to kill everything. Uh, in some cases it might be nice if I did though. One thing I think is interesting about the fact that you and enemies deal contact damage to each other is if you hit an enemy and then run into it, it'll deal less damage than if you had just run into it. Assuming you stay inside the enemy until it dies. Oh, right, I wanted to try to double jump to dodge that like I was playing Rabby Ribby or something. No, I wasn't allowed to double jump. It felt too long at first. Alright, so it's definitely easy to take a lot of damage in the forest. I mean, if you kill those nests with lightning, it's easy to get a lot of health. I think I'm gonna be hitting that with lightning. Now maybe there's somewhere else I can platform up. Oh wait, it's this room. Just gonna ignore that bear that ever existed. So, um... We dash against this a lot to reset our fall distance. I guess you might not even need to do that. We can get a... Uh... Right, Y is interactive. Lore, one of eight. The world was once veiled in darkness, populated by creatures of night. It was ruled by the old ones, beings of insurmountable might and evil. I don't think there's anything notable down here. Oh, hey, it's you, the nerd. Whoa! What are you doing down here? I thought this wasn't your thing. Do you, you know how serious your situation is? The expulsion will suck. Okay, do you even know what the bruise is supposed to do? End of conversation. Usually I end conversations with questions. That's not true. I usually end them with bye or good night something. I'm just gonna assume these are hornets rather than bees. <laughs> That's why they're jerks. Or something like that. Alright, so what do I do about this situation? Dash right and scope it out. 
や Maybe I'm just supposed to use the spread shots. They expect you to be at least level 5 by now. To be fair, I think some of the bosses would have leveled me up. Like, single handedly, if I was too low level. Like, I mean, that worked. And I can just do that to the next one. Oh, oh no. I can't dash or a jump, double jump. We're down here again. Oh hey, that time we got hit it with lightning. Oh, there's... There's rock in the way. Ah, oh, I messed up again. That rock is nearly invisible. Because it doesn't even, like, make sense with the platforming you're expected to do. Oh, I better make sure not to die. Maybe I should farm health here. <laughs> Incidentally, farm EXP. I hadn't even noticed how close I was getting. Yeah, I, I was nearly empty just a few minutes ago. Oops. Is that not the optimal way to kill him? Whatever, we're at full health. Didn't take too long. Hmm, maybe I'm just getting the timing consistently wrong. When you... Shoot this thing. The presence of spawning enemies doesn't help, of course. Okay, maybe I've eliminated the nest. No, I think I'm just shooting them as they come. Whatever, this will work eventually. Just like fire is so weak. Okay, we did it. And here's a warp. So we never have to do that again. I kind of want to farm a level before I go to the next room, because it's a boss room. They're very nice about putting boss rooms next to warp portals, but at the same time, like... Um... Means I don't want to go past a warp portal when I'm so high on XP. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's a boss room. And I believe there's no puzzle to be solved before it's a boss room, unlike the werewolf. I don't know how fast these are gonna level me up. Maybe I should have chosen the dungeon. Nope. Keep forgetting how double jump works in this game. <laughs> Which I mean, it doesn't. Well, I could grab that lore scroll. Yeah, we have a legitimate purpose for being here, in addition to grinding XP. Well, and just a little health. Oh, hey, we got the level up. Oh, it's way up there. Where's the... snake? Well... Oh, it barely didn't work. Maybe I need to approach from the other side. Seriously, though, where's the snake? Okay, you're here. I might just, just need to be on the other side. 
Ah, oh, no, we got this. Two of eight. As the millennia went by, the old ones, one by one, abandoned this world in search of new places to usurp. I think it doesn't matter what order you grab the scrolls in. You always get one of eight, then two of eight, and so forth. Well, since leveling up, I've sure taken a lot of damage. Haven't been too careful. Whatever, if we die, what's the consequence? We lose our experience towards next level. <laughs> so, uh, let's go to a boss room. Make sure there is, in fact, a boss. It certainly looks like it must be the Bloom of Twilight, but it's all dry and sad looking. Okay, so there's not a boss yet. Confirmed. Now, if I submerge myself in water, the bucket in my inventory will fill up temporarily. Uh, if I take it to the teacher, I think she'll remark something about the holes in the bucket. I might as well do that now. So it's, it's like a leaky bucket. But we can run to the bloom. Well, actually, we can warp there. Oh, oops, I used talk, not use item. Old bucket. Okay, where'd you get it? Whatever you do, don't let Edna find out you were the one who took it. Sure thing. You got any use for it? It'd be pretty bad for carrying water, but I'm sure it, you could if you ran really fast. Yeah, with that uh, key we found, she'll actually remark on the um, corrosion and suggest that it goes to something that's underwater because we didn't find it underwater. It, uh, maybe I should show that conversation at some point. Alright, so if I just jump down here, I should now have a bucket of water. You actually have a good amount of time, I don't need to rush, but why not rush? Did you consider that? Well, it might help preserve your health. <laughs> I, feel, I think I need water in this bucket one more time in the game, actually. Maybe not. Nice! The flower definitely looks better now that I've watered it. However, I remember hearing the magical flowers such as this one die very quickly with the fruits she severed. Better replant it in something, roots and all. Okay, I've carefully dug the plant out of the ground. Er, the wet ground. I have to place it in a vessel of some sort. Okay, so there was totally a puzzle to solve here, but we already had the ingredients. Plant the bloom of twilight in the flower plot. Now let's get it to Miss Willow. This is awesome. Ah, uh, knew it couldn't be that easy. So, uh, lightning is pretty good. So is whacking people, though. No, it's a tree! Also, apparently you need to destroy those thrown swords because they never stop. Yeah, interesting. No part of the tree seems to deal contact damage. Oh. Except the hands. Okay, sure. And we're dead. Oh, did you drop the item? I didn't actually know that. Because I, I haven't lost to the tree before. Because I haven't recklessly gone in missing half my health before. I don't know if I've lost a werewolf either. Come to think of it. Yeah, I think I was genuinely more careful with my XP. Not losing it randomly all the time. Alright, let's fight the tree again. I believe we'll get water breathing? Oh, so actually you do need to go into the water to get the trowel. Because you can't fight the tree without being able to dig the flower up. Alright, enemies dropping health is going to be helpful. So preventing them from even attacking is nice. 
Knowing that you have to destroy the swords, they won't ever stop flying around. Also nice. Oh yeah, I watched that hand, how it was gonna attack soon. Here comes the left hand. Did I get hit by the most telegraphed attack in the world? Twice. I guess it does le reach over far farther than I thought. I should just stopped attacking, stayed on the ground. Whatever, I think we've almost got him. Kind of funny that the tree's immune to fire attacks. Or at least the hands make it bounce off. Learn to bubble spill. Can now breathe and cast magic underwater. And we have our bloom of twilight. See, I want to warp to wherever I left the, um, the key first, so I can ask the teacher about the key. Oh, is it just stashed where I got the rope? Because I didn't need the key right away? Whatever, I'll go there and get it and toss these junk items while I'm at it. And this is the fastest way there. I think. Then we'll have some underwater explorations. Whoa, I got a lot of XP off that boss. I guess because it summons so many enemies, and the enemies are also worth XP. Oh right, can't get too close to the eye. Well, it's still going up. Right, I'm definitely going to want to level up for the next boss. When is the next boss, though? Yep, here's the key. Oh yeah, and then I was gonna fall down so I could get to the trash. Use pile of bones. Yep. It is garbage. Why is it even an item that clump of grass? Threw it out. Yeah, let's throw away the... No. No way I'm dumping this! Yeah, the old bucket might still come in handy. Actually, what point to the left is more attractive. Maybe I should have come from there, actually. Whatever, just getting a nice review of the castle. I guess. Yeah, maybe I should be editing more than I do in this series, but at the same time, like... I don't want to spend a lot of effort editing the Christmas Break series. This is my break too, or something like that. Anyway, do I need anything underwater? Well, probably the tarnished key, so it's good that I went and got it. What else might I need? I think I need the rope and the hook somewhere underwater. Anyway, take this bloom of twilight. This is great! Thanks. This is exactly what we need for the brew. Alright, we're on a roll here. Yeah, and what do you think of this key? That's an old, old key. There's a bunch of rust on it. Did you find it underwater? Actually, not at all. Maybe it opens something that is underwater. Yeah, exactly like I said. Oops. Um, that was farther than I meant to fall. So let's see, I think I stashed the rope here, and the hook. Don't remember what the copper wire is for yet. I know what the green orb is for. It'll be easier to get to the water area from here, and I guess there's also a water area from the forest. But the other two are connected. Bubbled. And yeah, the fire floats upward, but the lightning spell is amazing. 
know, just casually discharge all around you, murdering everything. I guess that's one way, at least the first time. That type of door tends to remember whether you've opened it. about to get the blue orb. In a chest! It's locked! First thing I brought the key. Okay, with some effort I was able to unlock the chest. As expected, the key got destroyed in the process. Oh, it's red! Why would you put... Whatever. And we leveled up! And I would demo what my new attack is, except, uh, we're underwater. So one more level until max level. We leveled twice this episode so far. In 21 minutes. Let's see, if I swim up here, it's the bucket room. However, I'm gonna head towards the forest. Explore the other water. Actually, do I want to grab my orbs yet? I think I want to grab the orbs. Okay. Actually, I'm... Maybe I should talk to that nerd more. Except, all he says is, like, we gotta find a way to destroy these blocks. If I talk to him more. Wow, I've already gotten a pretty nice portion of a level up. Yeah, I do have to keep mashing jump. I tried to double tap to dash. That's the only way I dashed on my first playthrough. Except I often had to triple tap, because, I don't know, maybe I wasn't mashing fast enough when I only hit it twice. Oh, wait. We still only shoot... A V of fire. I thought we got upgraded to the three-pronged attack, but I guess not yet. Alright, got that little spot of map exploration that was probably bothering at least one person. By which I mean definitely bothering at least one person, because it was bothering me. Whoa! Laser beam shark! I forgot about that. Okay, what do you have to say about this? Boulder is blocking the downward path. It's really poor, it isn't nearly as heavy as it looks. Still too heavy for me to lift alone underwater. Besides, slippery and would probably require some special grip. I think I can screw in a hook to it. I have screwed the hook into one of the small holes on top of the boulder, and now all you need is a rope. Uh. Okay, I've tied one end of the rope to the hook, sticking out of the rock, sliding the rope through a loop in the ceiling, and pull. That should do it. <laughs> and we don't get to see any of that. Alright, but first let's grab this lore scroll, apparently. <laughs> you have to be in the air, by which I mean the water, to grab it. Okay, with the domain of the old ones waning, creatures of the night could no longer have unchecked rain over the land. Just gonna get this door unlocked. Hey there, octopus. Are you an old god? Alright, we've pushed the button. Where's all my health gone? Thought I had significantly more of it. Whatever, let's go down. Hey there, guy. Well, at least he dropped two pickups, because that hurt. Oh, this room. You. Um, hey, first try! Um, so I think this has something like a 10% chance to drop. It's not awful, but it's not great either. 
And we get a warp. Uh, that's the only one of that enemy in the game, and I think it's only the top half that drops that item. Yeah, if you kill the bottom half first, I think something else happens. Uh... No, okay, whatever, I died. I don't care. I mean, I lost... Water has all leaked out. <laughs> That's kind of funny, considering we were just in the water, but... I think it was just... I think the timer doesn't reset if you go in the water again. Uh, yeah, so we lost, what, like, 15% of level? I don't mind. Anyway, now I'm just gonna warp a bunch. And maybe I should show this amulet thing to the teacher. It's an optional item. Oh, no, we made it. It's daytime, and this looks nothing like the dark forest around the school. I can always just take this travel mirror back home. World of obsolete assets. If you have the glowing amulet in your inventory, I think there's like a 1 in 4 chance of ending up here or something. Oh, whoa. That reflected my lightning. Yeah, I didn't actually find out about this until I looked on the forums after I beat the game my first time. And there's a slime! What is that thing? Oh, yeah, it's probably as lightning resistant as the smaller slime guys. Yeah, but it's not very broom resistant. I'm pretty sure the broom is still better DPS than our fire. Alright, we, we got him. Bill, learn to heal spell. Health will slowly recover over time. Stand still, you recover quickly. Uh, that'll be great, considering um, I don't like farming health that much. I think that's basically the only reward in here, but you can still look around at unused assets. I think it's cool that they made this place. Whoa. Yeah, in my playthrough on my own, I farmed health a lot more. Like, I don't want to farm health on a video that I'm not going to edit very much. Oh, there's a platform behind the waterfall, of course. Uh, oh, I can probably jump to that. And I'm not seeing how to climb up further. Perhaps this is only a down path? But why would you place so many platforms? can't swim up the waterfall. Alright, I guess we're just going back. Through the fire and flames area. Ow. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to jump up there. Oh, I kinda don't wanna die on account of having half a level. <sighs> wow, this is faster than farming health off enemies. Alright, that's enough for now. We'll fill up the rest as we move or something. So I'm waiting for a moving platform of some sort, but I guess we just dash across. And uh, yeah, the heart on the left is the heal spell. So you are obviously missing an ability if you don't come here. And of course, on the right, our lore scrolls were stacking up. Like, you see the diamonds on the left and right edges of the screen? 
Just in case they were never noticeable before, because there wasn't too much in them. But it just looked like a stylized border. Anyway, if you head left enough, you eventually reach the other end of the map entirely. It loops on itself. Anyway, I'm trying to get 100% map exploration here. Alright, we did it. Alright, I'm curious what the teacher has to say about the glowing amulet. And then I'll drop it and never use it again. Because we don't even need it to go back there. It's just the normal warp mirror, now that Belle McFay has memorized it. Or whatever her first name was. Yeah, it must be Belle. No, oh, I talked to her, I should use item. Yeah, what's this thing? Oh, reminds you of last Friday night. How so? And what is this thing? It's all pretty and glowy, but it feels kind of cheap. They are giving these out at the pub. Be careful, though. It might still have some sort of mischievous spell on it. You can just have it. Alright, so I believe that should be it for this episode. Um, I am gonna grab my orb, though. And drop off my bucket. Wait a minute. I know what the bucket's for now. I have recalled it. But I don't need it at the moment. Do I need this wire? I think not yet. Our stash is down to just a few items. The clippers are useless. Fertilizer, flower, yeah. I don't, I don't know what the horseshoe's for. That's something I've entirely forgotten. In the next part, we'll explore whatever's to the right of this warp room, which I believe is actually not a boss. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> See ya!